I got a restless heart and a wandering way. I never know how far I'll go or how long I'll stay. They say I never know what dangers are down each road I roam. Hi, I'm Haley Loren. Welcome to the Paradise Music Hour, an exclusive public television concert series produced here in Paradise, California, where you'll meet some of the world's best musicians singing and playing and telling us about their fascinating lives on the world's big stages. For the past couple of years, I have been hosting a remarkable show called Plugged In and Turned On in Paradise. As you may know, Paradise, California was destroyed in the campfire of November 2018. More than 18,000 structures and homes were destroyed, thousands are displaced, and over 80 souls perished. The whole world watched as the fire tore through Butte County, and hundreds sent prayers, clothing, money, food. It was an outpouring of love and support. Created, filmed, and edited by local folks and supported by a community that celebrates arts and music, this program provides a stage for artists such as myself and many others from varied backgrounds and genres to share their stories and music with the world. Many of these episodes feature performances at the beautiful Paradise Performing Arts Center and highlight many other local treasures. And those of us at Plugged In and Turned On in Paradise intend to showcase the power of music to heal. So now, we're grateful to be able to offer it here for you on your favorite local public television station. I got a restless heart and a wandering way. I never know how far I'll go or how long I'll stay. They say I never know what dangers are down each road I I feel so grateful to be involved in a show that highlights musicians who really deserve for the world to know a lot more about them and what they do. I really value what musicians bring to the world. And so being able to share this journey with the audience of Plugged In and Turn On in Paradise on a regular occasion as the host is a dream. Internationally acclaimed singer-songwriter Haley Loren is our talented host. Her latest album hit the Japan Jazz Charts at number one. But I miss you most of all. Haley showcases My each of our musical guests with insights into what makes their lives so unique. Hi, this is Haley Loren, and you're watching Plugged In and Turned On in Paradise. This woman has got her own way. This woman, she's got her own way. I started performing very early. I was 10 years old. I didn't have that many opportunities in those first couple of years, seeing as I was living in a small island in southeast crazy. Alaska. I'm crazy for feeling 
And so when I was 13, we moved to Oregon, where I have lived most of my life. Well, when I was very young, I remember listening to a lot of classic jazz vocalists. My mom was always a really big fan of Ella Fitzgerald and Nat King Cole. That kind of music was playing in our house always. Etta James and Julie London. I remember singing along from some of my earliest memories. It was a very eclectic blend of people who influenced me from a really early age. I got to perform my first jazz set with a live trio, and I was terrified, but it was so invigorating and it felt so natural in a way, even past the stage fright. I knew that that was something I really wanted to do for the rest of my life. You who won't admit you love me and so how am I ever to know you always tell me perhaps, perhaps, perhaps a million times I've asked you and then I ask you over again but you always answer perhaps, perhaps, perhaps I was 14, I started to do professional gigs and to begin to perform with a variety of really seasoned musicians who had a, a, a lot of influence on me as a, as a developing singer and musician. And I then started to have the guts to try to write my own songs on piano and that really opened up a whole new world for me as well. There's a time that binds me in you that no circumstances could undo no in time I call you sister I ended up moving to Nashville when I was 17 years old to uh, pursue full-time songwriting development and networking opportunities there and I wrote dozens and dozens of songs over the course of a couple of years almost two years there um, writing with some of Nashville's greatest songwriters and that was really developmental for me and when I came back I started composing songs to create an album of entirely original material and that was my first album All of those things were really necessary to converge to create the life that I now have and it was all just an amazing part of the ride. One of my primary songwriting partners was Larry Wayne Clark. Almost every single album that I've released of the eight albums I've put out have included songs that he and I penned together. Back at the start it was all hearts and flowers, candlelight rendezvous that lasted for hours but since he's gone you toss and turn until dawn nobody ever told you it would feel like this when each tender dream just seems to fight like do does your arm keep reaching for the love the man who was faithless and mean but now he's gone from the scene they ought to write a song about that about the way it hurts Promises were false about the lonely sound when the music dies. 
like a bro If there were prizes for the signs of regret, you'd be the envy of the oh, woe is me set. Romance is through, it's just the piper and you. Oh, they ought to write a song about that. I'm proud to have been able to write with him and to have been his friend, and um, I dearly miss him. And you, oh, they ought to write a song about that. Somebody somewhere ought to write a song about I think some of my best memories have been traveling to other countries and experiencing the realness of people in real time in the audience. One that sticks out very clearly in my mind was the first time I performed in Quebec. I had thought it was a great idea to plan to do a song in French. I started to feel terrified that I'd forget the words. But as soon as I launched into the song, and the song was La Vie en Rose, Everybody in the room sang with me the whole way. I, I will never forget that. I love hearing languages. I love learning bits and pieces wherever I can of different languages. Cuido algunas de las canciones año hace yo, hele lo leñe yo. Minasan ga gozonji nai kamo. I can't really converse in all the languages that I like to sing in, but I sing in six different languages. Never fails. After my most recent album release called Butterfly Blue, I am currently working toward what my next album project is going to be. So at home on the cold hard ground, I'm not chasing the sun no more. How I love that life. It don't help when the nights get long. I'm too tired to fight all the wrongs. I must have done and up so far gone. But my sweet friend, the angel, you're floating on the wind. Tell me, this is not the end. 
Hi, this is Haley Lauren coming to you from Quebec and I wanted to just let you know, besides the fact that I'm on tour, that I am also at the very beginnings of a Kickstarter campaign to help bring my new album of original music into the world. Hi, I'm Haley Lauren and this is my first Kickstarter where I'm going to ask you Will you make an album with me? Hey there, it's Haley Loren, here to announce that we have met the Kickstarter goal. It's true, it's real, it's happening. Actually, in just a few days, um, I'm heading out to work with Troy Miller, the producer of the Birth This Project. For me, this is the only time I have stepped completely away from the producer role. There's been a lot more production techniques that I've never used personally that he's added to this project. Which right. that pause. Yeah. Yeah. Basically, yeah. Yeah. Might not work, so, but yeah. Yeah. Let's try yeah. that. Um, Would you mind playing some the bridge test? Yeah. Back in 2008, I had just made my first jazz album and released it myself and somehow I discovered that my album had made it over to Japan and was selling on websites in Japan and it was growing in popularity and actually to this day I have no idea how that discovery started happening within Japan's music fan community. Blue sky, you're smiling at me. Nothing but blue skies do I see. I was contacted by several record labels. It was a pleasant surprise, and I ended up signing a distribution deal with JVC Victor Entertainment, which is now JVC Kenwood. It just changed entirely. I never saw the sun shining so bright. I never saw things going so right. Noticing the days are hurrying by when you're in love. The addition of, you know, working with JVC Victor led to my multiple tours in Japan. I've been there eight times now. I've been to Korea four times now in support of all the album releases I've done through that company. Shortly after JVC Victor in Japan signed me on, I began working with Just In Time Records, which is a label out of Canada. I went from, in a very short time, it felt like, from being somebody who sort of essentially sold albums out of their car <laughs> and on their own website to having things available in Amazon and every site around the world. It was just surreal and it certainly was a life changer. Bras dessous, bras dessous, en chantant des chansons. Mm, si Just in Time Records has brought me on Canadian tours now five times, and um, I've gone all over the world because of my albums being released internationally. So it was a huge, huge step for me. I love experiencing different cultures. I really like being out of my element. I find it invigorating. It makes me feel like the world is a smaller, friendlier place. So travel is great for that. And then touring on top of that, I mean, I, I get to go out into the world and make music. 
It's a blessed life. One other project that I'm involved in that's very active right now, I'm the vocalist and piano player for a new group that is a departure from my solo material it's called Haley and the Moon, and it's all original pop music. And so that's a really fun way for me to sort of delve into that part of my musical influences.
we're all changing as people all the time. And as an artist, I'm constantly changing. And the art is part of what changes me and changes my ideas. So I really like leaving things open for shifting tides. I'm just really excited as an artist about the, the future, seeing what's around the bend. Never saw it come until the rain became an endless storm. A fate was always in the current. Anyhow, oh no, I, you know, we're just two hours on a ship. The size of the world. La da 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 a yellow bird she sings and dreams of things she's never seen and the yellow bird her wings have never touched the spring rain where does such a breezy melody come from if she's never seen the sky she says she was born with the seed of joy and it blossoms from the inside in the seed i find all i need to write the 